شاء الله القرآن كان ضرورة لعدم وجود القراء مع أعتقد الحاجة جم تأخر ولا أبو ياسين راح ترجم أبتدي هذه بشيء باللغة العربية وهنيكم أولا بدء سادتي سيداتي خواتي الفاضلات أبنائي بناتي الأعزاء جميعا لهذه الذكرى العطرة وأهنئكم كذلك لهذا الحضور المبارك في هذه الليالي المباركة من هذا الشهر الكريم الفضيل حقيقة أشير بسرعة البارحة كان الحدث حدث جمع ونحن في رحاب ذكرى ميلادي كريم أهل البيت الحسن المجتبى عليه أفضل الصلوات وأزكى السلام هذا الكريم المعطاء الحقيقة من نفحاته من نفحات نوره من فيوضاته كان حدث البارحة في يعني الإفطار الخيري الذي أقمناه في القاعة هناك يعني الحقيقة إشارات وبوادر ولمحات رائعة للعطاء يعني هذا الذي نسعى دائما لتحقيقه من خلال هذه المناسبات يعني أن نتحدث عن كرم الإمام الحسن شيء وأن نطبق هذا في الواقع شيئا آخر أو شيء آخر لأنه يعني البارحة حقيقة بعض الأخوة كان العطاء من أيديهم يعني ليس فقط كما بل نوعا يعني أثبتوا بأنه هؤلاء الأيتام الذين هم حقيقة في هذا الشهر الفضيل أحوج ما يكونون إلى العون فبادر الأخوة والأخوات واستطعنا أن نجمع مبلغ يربع على أعتقد يصل إلى 40 ألف دولار مجموعا يعني فإن شاء الله راح تصل إلى أيدي الأيتام بعمل الله تعالى نحاول جهد الإمكان أن تصل إليهم قبل العيد لتكون فرحة تضاف إلى الفرحة التي تمت إن شاء الله بانتصارات أبناء الحشد المقدس في ظل دعم وتأييد المرجعية المباركة في العراق العظيم Brothers and sisters, I'm going to talk tonight, we want to have like PowerPoint like every night so it is just a short speech inshallah, 10, maximum 15 minutes so we talked about the importance of recitation, understanding and implementation of the Holy Quran in this month. Tonight we are celebrating the anniversary of the birthday of our Imam who? Al Hassan Al Mujtaba. You know him. So every time when we come to not when we come to discuss or talk about anything, we need to go three main steps. Through three main steps. First, we need to know that thing, the thing we talk about. Secondly, we need to understand that thing. And thirdly, we need to implement that. Very good. So we need to take that, to change it into actions, into our actions. There's no point of, you know, you all know who Imam Hassan is, don't you? Yeah. So he's the son of Fatima, alayhi salam. Fatima, the daughter of the Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi. So he's the grandson of the Prophet. Now, is this the only reason that we celebrate Imam Hassan's birthday? Of course, no. Of course it is. I mean, it is enough reason for us to celebrate the grandson of the Prophet. But that's not the only reason. There are other reasons. Al-Imam Al-Hasan by himself is a person, is an Imam that was selected by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So he's an absolute person, he's a perfect person that we need to follow. So we need to understand that Al-Imam Al-Hasan has the characteristics, has the, the things that made him an Imam. Now, so this is one thing. So you know Imam Hassan, who is he? He who he, 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 he was? Hello? Hi. Okay, so this is the first step. The second one, we need to understand why do we admire and need to follow Al Imam Al Hassan alayhi salam. In his actions, in his sayings, what he tells us. By the way, listen to me carefully. I don't use the, the verb 
in the past. I don't say listen to what Imam Hassan said because what he says was not was not something that has already gone. When we say the Prophet ﷺ, we say the Prophet says because everything that the Prophet said in the past is still living with us these days and will continue living with us no matter for how long. And the same thing. So because I talked to you in the past nights about the importance of the Holy Quran, I'm going to read one saying from Al Imam Al Hassan Sarok so we can get out tonight with something that we have learned. I'm trying to be a little bit higher register in my speech now. Sorry for our little kids that the say so is a little bit higher than probably your knowledge. But if you have a difficulty, you can interrupt me and ask me any question to clarify anything that you don't understand. Okay? So one saying from Imam Hassan alayhi salam uh, describing the Holy Quran. He says, In the Quran, يجيء يوم القيامة قائدا وسائقا يسوق قوما يقود قوما إلى الجنة أحلوا حلاله وحرموا حرامه وآمنوا بمتشابه ويسوق قوما إلى النار سوري ضيعوا حدوده وأحكامه واستحلوا حرامه So this is very quick description by Imam Hassan alayhi salam to the Holy Quran. Look, look carefully and listen carefully about it to understand the importance of the Holy Quran. It is not just a, a, a book that we read, we recite. I told you the night before. We need to read, understand, and then implement it into our actions. So we follow. Now, let's take one example of that. First of all, let's get through the um, uh, interpretation of that saying of Imam al Hassan, what he says. So he says, the Holy Quran will come on the day of judgment, Yom al Qiyamah. The day of al Qiyamah, okay? What? Like a leader and a guidance. Like a driver, not a car driver, but a person who drives people, okay? So he's a leader. The Quran will be a leader. Look. In which way? Is the Quran the book, like in paper and thing and in the cover? No. It is what the, the Quran has, the content of the Quran will come on the Day of Judgment as our leader. That Qur'an will lead us. So, the Qur'an will drive some people where? To the Jannah, to the Paradise, to the Haven. Okay? And will drive some other people to the other side. Where? To the Hell, to the Nar. Okay? Why? Who are the people that are going to be driven by the Holy Qur'an towards the Jannah? Imam Hassan says, those who ahallu halala means they follow all the halal things that mentioned in the Quran. What means halal? Halal meat? Halal food or something? That's just a small thing of the whole, the entire thing, the whole of Quran. This is just a minor thing. But it is broadly talking about all the things that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made halal for us. And the Quran confirmed them we need to follow. For example, the Quran asked us to, to pray. We have the must to pray. The Quran asked us to fast, to shy away from things that stops us from doing these things. So we have to follow this, okay? So all the things, all the halal that the Quran said. For example, the Quran says you need to obey and respect your parents. You must do, because the Quran says that. So this is what we have to implement into these things, into our actions. These are the things we need to implement into actions. Not just to listen to them, and especially we are listening to these things that have been said by someone like Ali Imam al-Hassan, not Mu'in al -Ibrahi. When I tell you that thing, you, you may listen to me, you may not. You may respect me, you may not. But when it comes from someone we call Al Imam Al Hassan alayhi salam, or Ali or any other Imam. So that reflects the significance, the, the significance of the Holy Quran, and the importance of understanding and implementing and following the Holy Quran. And he says, he continues to say, Imam, and those who did not follow what the Holy Quran asked them to follow will be driven towards the other side. They are going to go to the hell, to the now. Okay? 
So this is what we have to get out of these events, of these celebrations. We come here, as I, I, sorry, I mentioned this before many times. We come here asking for thawab. Perfect. That's okay. You will get what you want. But this is not the only thing you, you need to come for. Most importantly is you need to turn all these things you learn tonight into your actions. You have listened to me, and by the way, in our Islamic rules, for example, in, in the prayer, in the salah, or psalm, if something that you have not been aware of, and you learn later on, later on, you won't be penalized for the things that you didn't learn. But once you've learned them, they will be evidence on you, against you. You must follow them later on. So it's the same thing. You may say that we didn't know that Imam al Hassan said that about Imam al Hassan says that about the whole Quran. But tonight you have learned something. When you learn it, the evidence against you will be stronger. So you need to follow it. You need to be smart. You need to be careful about it. You have you will have no excuse of saying that I haven't heard about it. I, I didn't learn that I must respect for my parents, for example. For example. Or you say, I didn't know that in the Holy Quran, when we read it, we must understand it. Or we must follow it, we must respect it. Now you've learned it. You hear it from me, from someone else, from all the people who are talking it. So this is the point actually we need to keep in mind. All the times we come to events like these. I won't take more longer time from you. I congratulate you all again and again. And I mentioned just in my Arabic speech before that I repeated it for you in case you didn't understand it. I said, you guys, for example, the, the still too young actually to make donations or things. But definitely your parents have made it. Last night we, we held a, a uh, fundraising dinner and we managed to gather like to collect around forty to forty-five thousand dollars. These monies will be sent to the orphans. These are the things that we have learned from the generosity of Al Imam Al Hassan alayhi salam. When we celebrate our Imams and we have studied their lives, we learn from them. Al Imam Al Hassan alayhi salam, very well known as the generous Imam of Ahlul Bayt alayhi salam, because he was none that he was giving the poorish, the poor people money and um, he supported them a lot. So this is what I meant by implementing the things that our Imams did. So he was a generous person, a generous Imam. We need to follow his model, to take him a role model in our lives. And that's what we did actually. I congratulate all those who donated and made some contributions to um, support the orphans back in Iraq. And the orphans who I'm talking about are the orphans, the sons and daughters of those who martyred, sacrificed themselves on the soil of Iraq and somewhere else for the sake of this religion, for the safety of people of Iraq and also the safety of our sacred shrines in Iraq and our Imams. Congratulations again for tonight. وَأَفْلَحَ مَنْ صَلَّى عَلَى مُحَمَّدٍ وَآلِ مُحَمَّدٍ